So I never went on group trips before I started hosting group trips. I want to answer some of your questions about joyful vegan trips regarding the all-inclusive aspect, the group travel aspect, if they're right for you. If not, let me get to some of your questions. Number one, what's included in an all-inclusive trip? The answer is everything except your airfare. Accommodations, meals, activities, transportation, extras, surprises, all of it is included in your all-inclusive trip. Number two, what are the benefits of an all-inclusive trip? Well, number one is you're actually paying a lot less for the value you're getting because of the volume of people we have when we do the all-inclusive trips, the group trips. We get lower prices. We get to do things that you wouldn't do necessarily if you were traveling on your own. Obviously, there's group camaraderie, which is a big part of it. You don't have to think about a thing. You don't have to plan the itinerary. Everything's done for you. And of course, being a joyful vegan trip, we take care of all the food all the food. And so depending on the country we're in, we really highlight the regional, seasonal, local aspect of the cuisine that is dominant in that culture and country. So lots of benefits having someone else do the work for you. Number three, are there activities you can do on your own or do you have to join every activity? Now, these are all inclusive trips. So you're actually paying for the entire itinerary, obviously. But if there's an activity that we're doing or a site we're going to see and you don't want to go, you want to stay back, you want to stay back at the villa in Tuscany, for instance, or you want to stay back and do your own thing, you can absolutely do that. No one is forced to do anything they don't want to do. But most people do want to join in all of the activities. As far as doing things on your own. If you want to go off and do something by yourself, that's going to be outside the all-inclusive price, but you can absolutely do that. That is absolutely an option. Number four, can I travel as a solo traveler? And if I do, am I going to feel like a third wheel? The answer is absolutely yes and absolutely no. Absolutely yes. These trips are so conducive to solo travelers because, again, you don't have to worry about anything. We're taking care of everything. And as far as feeling like a third wheel, we have so many different combinations of people. We have mothers and daughters. We have romantic couples. We have platonic couples. We have friends. We have so much variety and everyone feels part of the group. Nobody feels like a third wheel. I'm speaking for what I see and what I've heard from people. And we have solo travelers come back again and again for this reason. So everybody's welcome. Everybody feels welcome. We see it time and again that people just include everybody as part of the meals, part of the activities, sitting together. Everyone gets to know each other, whether you're traveling solo or as a couple. Number five, what are the age ranges and age restrictions for these trips? So there's no age restriction other than you're welcome to join us if you're over 16 and we don't ask your age beyond that. <laughs> so you're very welcome to join us whatever age you are over 16. Number six, can't do six with one with one hand. What about the requirements for fitness when it comes to certain activities? So I'm Taking this outside the age question, because I don't think fitness equates with age necessarily, but we do hear from a lot of people, especially older people who know their fitness level has decreased and they want to know if they're going to be able to keep up. So it really depends on the trip. Something like a Rwanda trip where we are trekking for gorillas and chimpanzees will let you know that there's going to be, you know, hills and mountains you're going to be climbing up and down. You might be walking for an hour. You might be walking uphill for two hours. It really depends. If it's a trip like Tuscany where there's not a lot of walking other than the city walking, we'll let you know that. So always ask the question about the trip you're interested in if that's a concern for you. But it really varies. Um, it varies depending on the trip and your awareness of your own fitness level.